All right. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. Listen to the Van Wall Ag Tech Sponsorship. My name is Tyler Mosier. I'm our Technician Program Development and Training Coordinator. Throughout this little presentation, I'm going to talk to you about Van Wall Equipment, the John Drag Tech Program, the benefits of our sponsorships, and if you're interested, how to apply. So some questions I want you to think about uh, during this presentation is one, do you like to work with your hands? Two, who likes free money? And three, would you like to know that you have a job lined up before you even grad, uh, start your two-year degree at school? And I will touch base on all three of these questions throughout this presentation today. So a little bit about Van Wall Equipment. We have around 550 employees at 28 locations in four states. Now, out of those 28 locations, 19 of those are ag-related. Now, we look to sponsor at least one ag tech student at every location every single year. So nice thing is, is a lot of these locations are probably within 30 minutes of your drive, so you might have more than one location that you could potentially be sponsored at uh, to go to the ag tech program. Some of our other locations, we have like an Ankeny location, an Urbandale location that sells uh, golf and turf and consumer products. Uh, we have an Iowa Falls location that sells, um, again, golf and turf and consumer products and then some power sports. And then we also have uh, Omaha, Nebraska, Rock Island, Illinois, and Lenexa, Kansas that sell strictly just golf and turf. And then we have three power sports locations throughout the Des Moines Metro. So that's how we sell and service all different types of brands throughout our company. Some other things to think about is we're the largest John Deere dealership in Iowa. And we've been in business for over 40 years. Uh, so we've expanded multiple times in the last six years and we continue to uh, take on businesses uh, or locations when, when the opportunity uh, presents itself to us. So it could be a great career opportunity uh, and start your career growth within Van Wall going to this Ag Tech program. And the other thing is we're also a registered apprenticeship program. So this gives us a great structure for on the job training for you as a young technician going to the Ag Tech program. And when you're back in our shops, it allows you to be on multiple pieces of equipment um, so you can be able to service multiple different uh, things when that comes into the shop. So a little about the John Deere Ag Tech program. Uh, there's two community colleges choices that we will sponsor you to go to. The one in Iowa is Northeast Iowa Community College in Calamar, and the other one is Southeast Community College in Milford, Nebraska. Now from the Des Moines metro area, it's about three hours to both locations, so it's not too terribly far of a drive. It is an AAS Tech program, so it's, uh, it's two years. The nice thing though is uh, you're only up at school for about 15 months. And out of those 15 months, 50% of the time you're in the classroom, the other 50% you're in the shop. So there's a lot of hands-on training that goes on while you're in school. And then there's also about a total of six months of on-the-job trainings where you did not come back home, work in our shops, get paid an hourly rate, and use your education that you gained up at school into our shops along with the senior tech and bouncing ideas off of them. So some things that you'll be doing uh, and learning is diesel engines, how to set up uh, machines, rebuilding combine engine tractors, transmissions. Nowadays, there's so much GPS and technology and all these tractors and combines that you do understand how all that operates. Uh, so if that does go down, you're able to fix that. A couple of the nice things about the Ag Tech program is you come out John Deere course certified in their three core classes, hydraulics, electrical, and service advisor. What that means for us and you is let's say you graduate school and you want to go learn more about the X9 combine. We could send you right to a training class the very next day that you graduate school so you could understand that better if you wanted to. Or if you went to another community college to their diesel programs that have good diesel programs, but come and work for us, you're going to have to do about 15 classes of web-based training and then we're going to have to send you to four days of core classes in Egan, Minnesota or Davenport before you can even go to one of those other classes. So it just already kind of puts you behind the eight ball um, going to those other programs. So if you know you wanna work on John Deere equipment or in the ag field, the ag tech program would be the route that you'd wanna go. And the other thing is you do come out air conditioned certified. So I wanna go over a high view of both schools so you can understand uh, the kind of their structure, how they have it set up. So Calmar, uh, about 95% of our students go to Calmar. I don't know if that's just because it's in Iowa or what, um, but it's a fall start only. So really what it looks like is you're in school from August until Christmas break. After Christmas break, you're going back to school for a month. 
And then you're gonna move back home from the middle of February until uh, middle of May and do your first round of on the job training. And then you're gonna go back to school over the summer months and then move back home and do another round of on the job training from August until Thanksgiving break. And then you have your last semester and you graduate in your full time. So you kind of see what a typical day looks like up at school. You're in classes from eight to 10. And then depending on what group A or B, you go to the shop from 10 to 12 or one to three and your gen ed class would be um, in that other slot. The nice thing about the tools up in Calmar is they've limited it to snap-on tools, which they put it through the bookstore. So now that means you can use financial aid money on those tools and get that tool discount. On the very first, they have a tool day during the summer. It's about 67% savings on tools. So there's a huge discount on all the snap-on tools that you need. Now with Calmar being a pretty small town and a, and a pretty small campus, they do not have any on-campus living. So you sign two one-year contracts. Um, room and board costs about $300, $350 a month, and that usually includes um, uh, utilities. Now, Northeast Iowa Community College in Calmar is actually having a tour day on November 5th or 19th from 10 to 1. If you're interested, please email me and I will get you on the list and I can get your name signed up to go up to Calmar uh, on November 19th. That's a Thursday and that's from 10 to 1. So here's just a quick little um, picture of the core classes that have to be completed to be able to graduate uh, the program. So you can see there's just a lot of hands-on John Deere uh, classes that are geared towards you to be a successful technician. Uh, and then you have some gen ed classes. So if you're a junior or a sophomore, and this is something you're interested in, maybe we could start to consider or take some of those gen ed classes and get them out of the way during your high school so you can focus just on the gen ed classes while you're up in school. Here's just some photos of the tool day and all the tools that are um, in that 67% uh, discount um, throughout this day. And I'll kind of give you a price breakdown right here. So if I was to go and buy all those tools in that, uh, those pictures that you saw there, it cost me about $13,330. It'll cost you $5,235 just for those tools in that toolbox or in, that, in those pictures. And then the toolboxes um, in, that, in this last photo range in between just under $1,000 to a little over uh, about $3,600. And those would be double if I was to pay for them since I'm not in this program. So a little about Milford, just to kind of give you a little bit of difference in them. Milford has two different start dates. Uh, they have an August start date and a January start date. And um, they're kind of more of a true university setting. So you're in school from August until December, January until May, OJT over the summer. And then you have semester, semester, and then you end up graduating. Um, one of the big differences uh, for Milford is they have all the different tool dealers over there that come in on their tool day. Um, it does not go to the bookstore, so you have to have money uh, up front to pay for them, or uh, you can pull out a loan uh, through the tool company uh, that way. The other nice thing about Milford is they have on-campus living and they have some really nice new dorms that they're building. Um, there's two person suites and four person suites, and then they have a meal plan of all you can eat um, buffet and everything else. So that's pretty nice uh, setup that they have over at Milford. And then here's their uh, schedule of classes. Again, very, very similar structure. Uh, really the biggest difference would be uh, the gen eds are just a tad different over at Milford than uh, at Calmar. I'm gonna fast forward into the benefits of our sponsorship. Uh, when I asked who likes free money, what I was meaning by that is we pay for your tuition fees up front. So every school semester that you register for classes, I'm going to get your tuition and fees. I'm going to send it to our accounts payable team. And I'm going to write the check or we'll write the check and send it up there. We asked that with us paying for your tuition fees up front that you commit three years on the back end after you graduate. So once you complete, if you completed that three year commitment and you decided that this wasn't for you, and you will decide to leave, you won't owe us anything. Where if you decide to leave maybe within those three years, it's prorated. And so let's say you leave at month 30, you would owe us six months of tuition. Or if you left at month six, you would owe us 30 months of tuition. Um, but again, once you complete that three-year commitment after you graduate, um, everything is, is, is paid for. Some other benefits like I've already talked about is the discounted tools uh, at the schools while you're um, 
and a college student. The other thing about our sponsorship is when you get good grades, you get a pay increase. So at Calmar, every school semester that you get above a 3.0, you will get a dollar raise. And then Milford is a little bit different depending on when you start, um, if you start in August or on a January start date. And I would go over those details a little bit different. But again, uh, you can get a pay increase for getting above a 3.0. And then as long as you get above a 2.5 GPA, you have that job lined up and you're ready to start a career um, with Vandal equipment. Some other nice things of our uh, sponsorship is we do ask that you come in and work for us before you head off to school. Well, a couple of different reasons. One, that benefits you because it builds a relationship with your managers, the other techs, and makes you be able to understand our systems and our processes of how we operate on the equipment um, before you even head off to school. And then the other thing is it's focused solely on Deere, uh, John Deere equipment. So 90, about 99% of the work we do is focused on John Deere equipment. So that can really help out with your pay uh, and progress of the advancements in Van Wall. Now this is probably the, everyone's favorite page is because it talks about the money and everything. Uh, normal business hours and spring hours are pretty self-explanatory, um, but the earning potential. So we say the average technician can make $45,000 within their first year of graduating. So how we pay our technicians is salary plus incentive. So when you graduate college, we're gonna look at your final class standings, um, comments from your instructors, comments from your managers, and then that'll kind of determine your base pay for your salary, which will help you, can I afford a house? Can I go buy this new toy? Or can I go buy this vehicle or anything else like that? But then the incentive side is, how efficient are you with your time throughout the month? So we have a, we have a calculation that figures out billable hours in a month. And then once you hit 80% of those billable hours, you start to see um, an incentive. You can make anywhere between a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars every single month just on incentive pay uh, with how efficient you are. So really, how quickly are you diagnosing it? Are you diagnosing it properly? Do you have the parts there uh, ready for you to get into it and everything else? Um, John Deere does a really good job and we do a really good job at Van Wall of having parts on hand so you can stay efficient with your time. Also, when you graduate, then you're offered company benefits. And just to name a few, health insurance, health savings account, a 401k, which is retirement plan. Um, we have a dental, dental, vision, or dental plan, a long-term disability, and the list just kind of goes on and on. So it's something to think about is company benefits. I know it's not on the top of your mind right now, but that does play um, big in, when, when you guys are looking for jobs. Now I'm going to go over some photos uh, so you guys can kind of see some work that we do and how we keep our technicians busy. So I don't know if you guys have been to one of our locations before, but this is at our Nevada location. Every location has a, a shed very similar to this. Now all these combines you see in here are, are on our service special. So those are all customer combines that need worked on. So the customer will sign up for a service special, a combine, a tractor, a planter. They bring it right to us after they're done with it and we store it for them. A couple of the reasons that's beneficial to us is it's on site. So you can see in this photo, there's snow on the ground. So it's right there. We're not having to go out and fight in uh, the gravel roads or anything. If there's a lot of snow and pull it in, we can literally spend 10, 15 minutes, start it up, pull it in. You start diagnosing, figuring out what's wrong with it. Call the customer, say, hey, X, Y, and Z needs fixed. Um, we're seeing some wear and tear on this part. Maybe you could wait another year. Then you start to replay, you repair it. And then that allows that customer to hopefully have a very smooth uh, harvest or planting season without any major breakdowns. Also, every service special that comes in gets a wash in the detail. Every uh, location has an indoor and it's heated. So when we have our own full-time wash bay people, so as a full-time technician, you'll, you'll never be in the wash bay. The other thing that the customers really like about this is their piece of equipment comes back looking brand new. It's clean and ready to use. Uh, can get all the corn dust, corn stalks out to prevent combine fires or anything else like that. This is just a photo. Uh, this was in February, March um, of us finishing up all the tractor specials at one of our locations. So you can see there's not much room to be walking around um, in this shop. So there's always a lot of work to be doing uh, with these service specials. This was a, a PDI. PDI stands for pre-delivery inspection. So this is a brand new planner that we were setting up uh, the timing and everything to send out to the customer 
so he could use it in, in planning season. And then there's just some bigger projects that um, some techs have worked on when I've walked around the shops. This was a complete engine rebuild. This was a transmission uh, PIP. PIP stands for Product Improvement Project. Um, warranty is what it could be called in the auto world or anything else like that. This is about an 80 hour job. So here's the inside of the transmission. And then you can see the little metal shards on the right hand side of that. Uh, that was what was causing this PIP uh, to do. And then here's just the front end of a tractor split apart. Um, I don't really know what was going on with this, but these are just different kind of opportunities that you'd have as a technician that every day is gonna be a different challenge and not the same repetitive work day in and day out. This was the last year harvest photo, but this combine, last year we had a pretty wet harvest. Uh, this, this farmer decided to invest on four wheel drive. So within just a little over a day, we, uh, we put four wheel drive on this combine and got it back out to the shop. And then this is a really cool photo, front end split apart, wires hanging all over the place, tires are off. So as a technician, we're, we're sending you to school to be able to redo all these pieces, all this equipment that I just uh, showed you and then put it back and uh, hopefully you can make it run the very first time uh, that you uh, put it back together. The other thing is, is we have service trucks. So we do send our best technicians out on the service uh, into a truck and once you become a, a road, uh, service technician. This becomes your toolbox. You pull it in the bay when you're back in there. Uh, every truck has an 8,000 pound lift, a welder and a generator. Uh, so you can be just as successful out on the road um, as you were in the shop. And this is just a photo of one of the recent graduates uh, out doing a service special, or not service special, a service call on a customer's equipment. So a couple things that we have for you. One, if you're a senior in high school right now, and this is something you're interested in, you need to fill out a, an interest form on our website at vanwall.com. And underneath the company tab, there's a John Deere Tech program. Uh, this is all I need is your name, your email, your phone, where you're from, the year you graduate. And that'll let me know uh, where you're at and we can kind of start the interview process at one of our locations. The other thing that we have is, you, a high school internship that we just rolled out this past summer, and we're gonna be doing that again this year. You have to be at least 16 years of age. We're looking for a student that's a junior, going to be a senior, and it's the summer before your senior year. So we will interview you for this position to make sure the Ag Tech program is kind of what your career mind is. You'll come in that summer, it's paid. You'll be doing a lot of different things. You might be mowing the yard, you might be in the wash bay, you might be cleaning the shop, you might be helping tech, you might be in parts. You know, it's just an opportunity for you to really make sure that the Ag Tech program is what you want to do, but it's also a great opportunity for our managers and our techs to really make sure that you're going to be a successful tech and that we, uh, you'd be a great candidate to sponsor to go to school. So it's just kind of one of those stepping stones um, into the Ag Tech program. And again, you can fill that, uh, your information out on here, and there's a comment section that said, I'd be interested in the high school intern that you could uh, fill out. Again, thank you guys for your time. Uh, do you guys have any questions for me? Thank you, Tyler. That was really good information. Um, some questions in, would be, um, what would be a, the average job outlook for the industry? The average job outlook. So we are looking to hire at least one of these ag tech students at every location every single year. Uh, to get where we wanna to get to with multiple different parts of our company, uh, we're looking to hire these young, young ag tech students that are wanting to make a, become a technician and then we can grow them into a lot of different things. So the outlook is, is really unlimited. If they're starting at said starting salary could be upwards of 45,000 a year. What would be a long-term potential earning? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, our top techs in our company are making 80, 90, $100,000 uh, with our base plus incentive pay. Um, and again, it's just really how quickly and efficiently can you diagnose and, and repair that piece of equipment. So. As long as you're staying off your cell phone, staying on task, and you're putting putting your time in when you're in the shop, you're going to be a successful technician for us. 
is there continued training or education that is required or maybe recommended throughout a career? Yeah, so with, with Van Wall and John Deere, um, John Deere requires you to go to a Q diagnostics class every five years to stay current. And so, like I mentioned earlier in the presentation, you come out already core certified in hydraulic service advisor and electrical. So we just have to send you either Davenport or Egan. Uh, it's usually a two day training. And then um, you keep your course for five years. And Deere's really starting to kind of crack down on training and making sure who's working on what piece of equipment has been to that Q class and everything else. But then there's also other opportunities. I mean, there's sprayer classes that if you're wanting to become a sprayer tech or uh, that we could send you to to understand that a little bit better. There's the compact construction equipment classes. Um, and then there's also a whole engine learning path too. So uh, that's a four day capstone class that we'd send you to. And there's a bunch of classes to learn about engines even more in depth than what you already do. So there's always learning opportunities for our technicians. What, uh, aside from the internship that you talked about, what would be some other advice for students maybe thinking early on in high school and then also later on, um, you know, things to get involved in, other classes to take, what else would you recommend if they're interested in pursuing this type of career? Yeah, really any kind of classes that are kind of hands-on, you know, DMAC offers um, a lot of different classes. Uh, they have an auto class, they have welding classes. Uh, your high school might even offer uh, the small engines class or uh, some kind of industrial technology where you're building homes and doing electrical and wiring and all that. Uh, I would just say really kind of start to dive into those classes and start to understand what you can there. Um, that'd be a great start. And then really, if you have any extra room and you know this is kind of what you want to do, maybe start to knock those gen ed classes out. I've talked to, uh, we have about 40 students in the program right now, and most of them are saying they wish they would have done gen eds in high school so they could have focused uh, more on the John Deere core classes while they're in school. All right, great. I don't see any other questions in the chat. Um, so Tyler, thank you so much for your time today and for the great information. And if, uh, if you have any, any other lasting comments for the group? I don't know. Again, I just appreciate you guys taking time to listen to this. Um, and Mike, if you just fill out that interest form, that'll send me an email that you're interested. Um, and my email is Tyler.Mosier at VanWall.com. So that's T-Y-L-E-R dot M-O-S-I-E-R at VanWall.com. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.